Hi, in this video, we'll see about the sorting part. Now, if I want to sort my columns, if I want to sort my records, if I want to sort my tables, I can do all three of them. Let me explain you in detail. Now, what I've done is I've picked up one orders sheet from here and I've dragged it at this place. Now, when I drag it sheet at this place, I get the data on this place. Now, whatever my records are there, whatever my, my column names are there in my data source, same column names, I'll get it in the same order itself. So if you see data source order right now, the row ID order ID, these are the first two columns in my Excel sheet in that database. Same way I'll get here itself all the same type. So for that, I need to explain you. I'll just open this file. And if you see row ID, order ID, order date, ship date, these are the column names. And if I go back to this place, okay so if you see row id order id order date and ship date these are the same order in which i have in the data source now what i want to show you is these are not sorted in the ascending or descending order the column names so row id order id these are not sorted out if i want to sort the column names in ascending or descending order i can just click on this drop down and if i say a to z ascending if i say a to z ascending all the columns will be sorted in ascending order if you see c that is category city country and on the right hand side if you see that is order date that is discount order date order id if i keep on scrolling on the right hand side if you see the column names are sorted in ascending order itself same way if you want to sort the columns in the descending order i can just click on this drop down click on z to a okay and if i take you on the left hand side this way if you see it, it is sorted in the descending order. Remember, I'm talking about the column names, not the data. This is the data or you can call it as a records. I'm talking about this column names itself, right? Now, if you observe, this is nothing but a name of the column. That is the name of the sheet that is orders. In that orders sheet, I have a column that is subcategory. So what happens is if I bring here as one more column that is people, Okay, so these are two columns and this is nothing but an intersection, whatever column, common columns are there in both the tables, those I can see at this place. Okay, now when it comes here, now if you see there is orders, 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 all these places and if I go on the right hand side, yeah, here if you see there's people, the name of the column is nothing but people and that's nothing but a region here. Now what I want is based on the table, I want to sort. So based on this table, I want to sort. So I'll just click on this drop down. If I select as A to Z ascending per table, if I select A to Z ascending per table, now here if you see orders table is the first one and in that I have sorted my column as category that is C order. And if I scroll on the right hand side this way, yeah, here if you see in the, uh, what do you call the people, if you see, they are sorted in the ascending order that is P, R and on the right hand side you see these are the two columns which are sorted. So even in the table itself you are sorting it ascending to descending. Again on the other side if I say Z to A descending per table and if I scroll on the left hand side this way. Now if you see there is a people table, the table is sorted in the descending order, the, the higher order and again if you see it is also sorted in the descending order. So if you have multiple tables, if you have multiple tables, use the last two option. If you have only one table, use the third, second and third option itself. If you want to keep it as it is as the table itself, as the data source order, you can select the first option. So this one will be the data source order. So I hope you understood when you have one table, when you have two tables, you will be using this column itself. Now let's talk about the fields. If you have this fields, if you want to sort it in the ascending or descending order, there's a small icon. If I, if I select any column name and there's a small icon which says which order do you want to you know, sort it. So if I click on this place, it will be ascending. Again, if I click, it will be as descending order. Again, if I click ascending, descending. So same way, if I want to sort my date column in the ascending or descending order, I'll simply click on this place. This dates are sorted in the ascending order. So if you see the icon, you'll easily come to know, okay, at this place. Same way, if I want to sort the ship mode into ascending or descending, simply you have to click on this place. Right now, if you see, that's ascending order. Again, if you click, this is nothing but a descending order. So for rec sorting the records, you need to click next to the column name. For sorting the column fields, column names, you have to sort in the form of this place itself, right? So these are the options. 
So I hope you understood how to sort the column names with one table, how to sort the column names with multiple tables, how to sort the records in your table itself. That's all for this video.